Welcome to today's session. Today we're going to look at Google, Google Docs, how to create a folder and how to create a doc and share the uh, doc with our collaborators. First thing we're going to do is go into our Gmail account and then in our Gmail account we'll be able to go into Drive. So if I'm in my account, notice right here, and I go into the nine dots at the top right, or if you're using another language, it may be on the left, and open it up. I should get all the information there so that I can go into my Google Drive and create a new folder or a new doc. So let's start with the top right so we can get to where we want to go to. So click on the nine dots, go into Drive. Once in Drive, we are going to go into over here and New. Notice we're under My Drive and New. We can also open it up down here, My Drive, and we'll get the same information. So let's open the drive and then you get the same information you would get if you would go into the left here so there are multiple ways of doing this and you can choose whatever works for you so new folder is what we want we can also upload a folder as a file notice folder upload or file upload they're not the same or they may be depends on you so let's click on new folder and then we're going to give it a title very important to give it a title otherwise uh, we're going to have lots of untitled folders and not really know where anything is so in this case i am going to call this video let me write that video based mobile learning vbm right get rid of that and create click on create because that's what we're doing we're going to create this so we're going to click on create wait a few seconds and our folder should be up now if you're looking for it and you think oh my gosh I don't know where it is you can write video based mobile learning based mobile learning you can search for it okay video based mobile learning and you should be able to see it here but if you don't see it go into your drive everything is by alphabetical order so you'll be able to find it and if you can't find it that way what i usually do is simply go into recent now this isn't your fault if you can't find it can't really blame anyone but let's say we we do I would blame Google for making it difficult for us to find our folders once we create them. And here is the folder, Video Based Mobile Learning. There you can see the icon for the folder. Notice it hasn't been shared and it wasn't shared. If I look at this one, notice the person inside, it was shared with me or I shared it. So here it is, Video Based Mobile Learning. Next, I'm going to add a doc to it notice right now there's nothing there I can drop files here from my computer which is really neat but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into new because I want to create a file a Google Doc next I'm going to go into Google Docs over here click on it because I want a new doc click on the doc 
Now you can have a choice here, notice, blank document or from a template. I'm going to click on blank because I'm starting this new. Going to give it a title. This is really important, again, giving titles to everything that you do so you can find things when you're looking for them. And the title is going to be the same as the folder. Okay, you could do that. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it video based mobile learning, but I'm going to add something to it. Mobile learning, I'm going to add a dash there and called improvements. You can call it whatever you want. And then I'm going to hit my enter button and then I can start working on this doc. Next I'm going to add information. So let me start with adding information. Next I'm going to add a table. I like using tables. I'm going to go into insert over here. Notice you can insert various things. Take a look at the editor at the top there. And familiarize yourself with it. It's got lots of amazing features. Next I'm going to insert a table. So there we are. Now, if you're not sure how many rows or columns you want, um, start with two. That's what I usually do. And then you can add to it. Next, I'm going to add this information here right inside there. Okay, there's this one. I can delete it now. This is information that I'd like to collaborate on. Okay, there we go. We're going to add it into these two columns. Next, I'm going to add to the top. So notice what I do here. I'm on the top. I click on the right of the mouse because what I want to do here, or pad if you're using a pad, is uh, I want to add a row above. And in this case, I'm going to add some information, items, to improve. Now notice I've got two rows. This is I've got two rows here. What I want to do, actually two columns, sorry, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these two cells or two rows, merge cells. And then I'm going to put this in the center by go, going into the table. Okay, I'm on the table and next I'm going to go into this area right here so that I can put it in the center. I can have it on the left, on the right. In this case I want it centered. So let me focus on what I want and then go up to the top here and the center. And now it's in the center. Might want to make this a bit larger. Okay, so that it's clear. There we go. Items to improve. Maybe it's too large, but that's up to you. You might want to have colors for this. You might want to have backgrounds. Let me put a background here. Again, I'm going to the right of the mouse to add information. In this case, I don't want to add any of this. I want to go to the top and add. Okay, let me go here. What I want to do, and I see that the information is not here. If you want more information, you can go into the three dots over here so that you can get more information. Okay, in this case, I want to add a background. And notice now I have more information. I want to add a background color to the top row. Okay, over here. So I'm going to put my mouse here and then I'm going to choose a color from the file picker. Oops, that was black by mistake. I didn't intend to do that really. Okay, so let's go back to the background and the color that I would like to have here is not very dark is this one. And then you might want to change the color of the item of the font here. So I'm going to go to the top text color. You see that and I'm going to change the text color to white. And that's not much of a contrast. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the background and make it a bit darker. There we are. Items to improve. I think I'm happy with the way things work, but where are my collaborators going to add their information? Going to go to the right. I'm going to stand here with my mouse. Go to the right of the mouse, and I'm going to add columns below. Now, how do my collaborators know what I'm after? Okay, so I'm going to have to add instructions here. Let me add below, and I'm going to add a few. Okay, a few. What I usually now is I copy these so I can add a few of them. Again, to the right of the mouse, copy them. Okay, I'm going to copy the rows. There we go with the top copy. And then I'm going to add more rows. Okay, there we go. We can add more rows by going into Control V. Okay, now we've got a few rows. And now people can add their comments there. But they can also add them on the side. But I'd like them here and not on the side, even though they can also add to the side. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give them instructions, right? Okay, so please add your comments and ways to improve the session or in order to improve video based mobile learning to the rows below. No need to add your name or change the color. Oops, the color. Okay, next. So now we've got this. They can add their comments just below. Next, let me get rid of this name here. Okay, I would like to see included the benefit. Okay, Let's see if there's anything else here. Activities, notice there are a few typos here. Outcome should be one word. I would like to see, we don't need included, the benefit of this session. Okay, and I think that's it. Next, we're going to go into, okay, so we're going to add the collaborators. We're going to go to the top here top right and go into share. This is one place where you can add them. Another place is to go into the file. Let's open the file up. In the file, you can hit, when you're in the file, you can hit share, share with others or publish to the web. We're going to share with others here. Okay, let me go to the top right. And here you can see that it's I'm the owner. Now keep it restricted because you don't want others, the world, to see this or anyone who has the link to see it. So you're going to restrict it. Keep it restricted. Copy the link so you can share it with your colleagues. But you will add their names here so that they can get notified that you have added them to this doc. Or you can add a message if you like. Okay, so let's add their emails. Okay, I'm going to add. There we go. And you can add a message. Please join me so we can make the changes recommended. Okay. And then thank you.
thank you. And then the Nelly will be available anyways. All right, and then we can send it to them. That's how it's done. Now we have one collaborator for this, for video-based mobile learning. And that's how it's done. If you have any questions about uh, how to create a folder or a Google Doc, please add your comments to the comment box below and anything else you'd like to ask. All right, so before we end this, we are going to go into file just to show you that this is under the folder video-based mobile learning. So let's check that. We'll open up the file because we can also change its location. This is not a new document, but we can rename it, notice here, and we can move it. Let me stay here. We can move it to where it is right now. We can also add a shortcut to drive to make it easier for us to find it. Okay, so my drive. And I see that our collaborator is already here. Isn't that amazing? So you can see how fast that was. There is our collaborator. That was super fast. Well, you just saw the collaborator there. All right, so uh, we're ready to get started. Again, where is this? If we want to know, we can go into File and move it, so we'll see where it is. Or we can go also. We can also see the version history with all the changes that the collaborators will make. We can also go into this area over here and move it from here. This is just another place to do the moving. We can move it from here. Notice over here and add it here. Lots of features. Take a look at what's available here so you can familiarize yourself with it. And I think that's all for now. Enjoy collaborating and let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching.